And then there's this thing. I found this little rock just sitting here and it's kind of fun to... Kind of fun to hit if you can stay on the bike and keep it straight. Ah, you gotta be shitting me. Bend the shit out of your shifter. That's no fun. It's a nice cold day today. I'm having to wear layers and stuff. But it actually makes it kind of nice because then I don't overheat nearly as much. a couple new things so you know we got this guy here it's pretty fun and then there's this thing I found this little rock just sitting here and it's kind of fun to kind of fun to hit if you can stay on the bike and keep it straight ah you gotta be shitting me bend the shit out of your shifter that's no fun Finger stuck. <coughs> the bitch. Some metal cracked in the back. Because if it is, I don't want to break it off. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see what happens now. So that's usable. Alright, we'll use that for a bit. Let's take it a little easier this time. That's how it works. And then back here, I found a new uh, fun little hill climb that recently discovered. Oh yeah. Let me get his mirrors out of the way. Climb this hill. Usually not always that uh, rodeo-ish, but uh, yeah, it's a fun little hill climb. <laughs> I'm just not doing good at all today, am I? Oh, today's my day. Running into trees and shit? What the hell? Bending up my shifter and everything? Okay, we'll go up the easy one first. Okay, so easy one, no problem. We'll go back down. Through the rocks. And we'll try the harder one that has a little step up to it. See how that goes. Oops. See, I put that rock there for a reason. I saw this metal under there. So I was kind of forcing myself. Stay. Forcing myself to miss it. So I don't get a flat or something. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's try the harder one. See if we can break some more stuff. Yeah, that didn't work out too bad at all. <laughs> I 
took a second to look down at how fast I was going and realized too fast. Well, what do you say? Let's do a let's do a hot lap. Get out of your tree. in second gear shouldn't be any problem right uh, a little pinging That's the, uh, that's the madness of it all. Just been romping around here doing a bunch of that. And uh, yeah, breaking shit, I guess. Still need to get another bolt for this guy. This is pissing me off. I need to tighten this down. It's gonna, yeah, it's coming loose. It's one thing I don't like about the Barkbuster or Acherbies brush guard, hand guard, whatever you want to call it. It's always coming loose on me. I mean, I lost one bolt. That used to be tight, tight, tight. I know I hit it, but I don't know. I always think that they shouldn't move in the first place. It should be so solid that you can drop the bike and it won't move on you. I mean, hell, the whole thing has actually bent. It used to go straight out then curve, more like this one. This one's bent too. And if I didn't trim this uh, lever down, it'd be uh, useless. Be rubbing so much that you couldn't even hit the brakes or the brakes would always be on whatever you know what happened I'd like to get some different levers 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 hell I'm just trying to keep this thing going for now it feels great since I've uh, retuned it to two and a half turns out on the air fuel mixture that makes a actually made a pretty good difference that's why wheelies are so easy now feels much better than it did stock stock was closer to three three something turns out and uh, so two and a half turns out anybody and everybody should check that on their bike anyways what good's talking on a motorcycle unless it's running we'll just do a couple more uh hill climbs then we'll get out of here eh?
you're just oh 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 he flipped over my heart is